What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Now today is the 31st of January where I am right now at the time of recording, which means tomorrow is the 1st of February and the first day of Series 8 officially beginning. So, what do I want to share with you guys in the final days before we actually have to start playing this format? Well, my final piece of advice um, before, you know, we actually like develop the meta further and stuff is that I feel like Regigigas might have gotten better with the new rules. Now, this is kind of insane, but uh, hear me out, hear me out, right? Uh, I'm going to get into that in the video up ahead, but do me a favor. If you guys learn anything from this video or enjoy it, uh, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content and comment down below which other Pokemon you think got better with the format changing to allow one legendary Pokemon. So yeah, or one restricted Pokemon, but let's go ahead and get into it. So the standard Regigigas teams that we would see before, uh, if we actually go to Picolytics here, we'll go to Series 7 uh, and look at what Regigigas was ran next to, because they do have popular partners here. So Regigigas was like almost always ran next to Weezing, except for the 13% of people who were absolutely insane. Uh, Urshifu was a phenomenal partner. Regieleki was a great partner. Dragapult was all right. Sometimes you would run like Dragapult Colossal, and then you would also run like Weezing Urshifu, or Weezing Regigigas. Uh, Rillaboom, Venusaur, Tapu Fini were lower on the list. So if we notice something, Regigigas like to have really hard hitters as partners. Why was that? Well, 90% of the time, Regigigas would be your prime Dynamax target. And the way Regigigas likes to play is super hyper offensively on lead by deactivating the slow start with neutralizing gas wheezing, uh, running Sugarberry wheezing to live hits, uh, and it would run taunt to make sure that you couldn't trick him against it, will o wisp to burn physical attackers, and sludge bomb is a general stab move, along with protect to increase the longevity of the wheezing. Regigigas would usually run a life orb with giga impact to make sure you had the max amount of damage on your max strikes. Ice Punch as a coverage option, High Horsepower as another coverage option, and usually they wouldn't run like Max Knuckle, they would want something like Dark Coverage, or sometimes they'd even run something like crazy, like I don't know, maybe it got a Ghost move or something, or Steel move, like Heavy Slam. Uh, but it was it was usually these few moves, like Ice Punch, High Horsepower, Giga Impact, uh, and Protect. So what it liked to do was Dynamax immediately and just punch holes into the opponent's defenses. It saw a lot of success in Series 7, despite me initially thinking it was more of a meme. Uh, however, being able to just hit things and punch holes in the defenses, usually force a Dynamax early on, in fact, make your opponent burn their Dynamax, made it so these powerful attackers in the back could be cleanup crew once the Regigigas was done with its Dynamax, if the game wasn't pretty much already over by then. So that's why you see things like Urshifu Regieleki. Regieleki wasn't like screens or anything, it was like specs or uh, magnet a lot of the time, it was offensive. Uh, and that's why you would see like Dragapult Colossal, Rillaboom, that sort of thing. Uh, sometimes you'd even see like Venu Coal next to it, so that was another option. Uh, so yeah, Regigigas really, really like punching holes in the opponent's defenses. I feel like it got even better with the new rule set because you're always going to be Dynamaxing this thing, or not always, but most of the time. What legendary fits the build of the following? One, it's already on screen by the way, but one, <laughs> it doesn't want to Dynamax and or can't. It is a phenomenally strong and fast Pokemon for cleaning up after the fact and is just generally like an oppressive Pokemon overall. It's, it's Zacian. Zacian. Zacian is the answer there. So the basic game plan for Regigigas stays the exact same, except you have Zacian in the back as cleanup crew to increase just how strong this combo can be. And on top of that, saying like, okay, well, you won't always want to Dynamax Regigigas because they're opposing legendaries in the format. The only reason Regigigas isn't considered like a normal legendary, the reason it's not like on par with stuff like Zacian or Calyrex or all those other things is literally just because of its ability purposely making it worse. So you pretty much have two restricteds on your team already. Hear, hear me out, right? So I'm going to go over a couple of matchups versus some popular legendaries uh, or restricted Pokemon that you will see in the format in the next couple of weeks and just explain how Regigigas does well against them. And just keep in mind, these are Regigigas' stats, and it's not a restricted Pokemon. Granted, you need Weezing next to it for it to function, but still, this is a non-restricted Pokemon. 110 HP, 160 attack, 110 defense, 110 special defense, and 100 speed. That is a legendary Pokemon. Compare that to, compare that to Zacian. They look pretty similar. <laughs> look at that. Like, yeah, it's faster and it hits harder, but defensively, this thing's got... Like, this thing's got more HP than it, so it's, like, similar. It's very similar in build. So, 
What Pokemon can you expect to face? Well, popular restricteds at the moment, Calyrex Shadow, Calyrex Ice, Kyogre, Xerneas to an extent, Eveltal, and Dialga are all, you know, relatively common. Palkia as well. Uh, Dialga, I will say, is probably going to be one of the worst matchups for, um, for Regigigas, and the main reason is because it is the like one of the best uh, Pokemon that you could be running like uh, a Max Wormwind on, and it can it usually like it can run like a weakness policy and definitely eat a hit from Regigigas if you have like screen support or something, uh, since intimidates off the field if you're running a Weezing next to your Regigigas. So it, it is able to eat a hit when you Dynamax it and then lower your damage output with Max Wormwind. So keep that in mind. So this is probably like the worst matchup it has, but these guys. Like, also Zacian, but we won't count that for now. These guys, like, Regigigas kind of has a field day against them because of its speed. So, Calyrex Shadow, it struggles to even hit Regigigas. Its best move is Astral Barrage. And when it turns in, like, it's it's immune to that. Regigigas just outright immune to that. Um, Regigigas wants to run, it can run a dark move to one-shot this thing, but it wants to run Max Quake, which will boost its special defense. The way that people are running Calyrex Shadow right now, it's pretty much... Expanding Force, Astro Barrage, sometimes Substitute or Protect, and any kind of coverage move. Like, you could run uh, a Grass move, you could run something else, or you could even run Will-O-Wisp if you wanted to. It struggles to hit Regigigas at all. Its best move is going to be Expanding Force turned into Max Mindstorm. And like I said, Regigigas, 110 HP, and you're Dynamaxed, mind you, uh, and 110 in its defenses. It's going to eat that up like Rhesus Puffs. So it has a field day against Calyrex Shadow being immune against its best move. Calyrex Ice, slower than Regigigas, still doesn't want to take a max strike, even though it's super physically defensive. It still doesn't like that Life Orb max strike. And granted, it does have a lot more options to hit Regigigas. It still doesn't want to be outsped by the partner wheezing in Burned. Because if you burn this thing, it's all downhill from there. Your best Pokemon in your team just got burned. So that is another Pokemon that Regigigas absolutely annihilates. Kyogre, it is run next to Tornadus. It is run next to Tornadus. I will give them that. But if you encounter the rare non-Kyogre, non-Tornadus, or maybe you already built, maybe you already dealt with the Tornadus, maybe you have some way of dealing with that. Kyogre itself gets absolutely annihilated by a max strike, getting outsped by Regigigas, having like good physical bulk, but lower than its special bulk by a lot by a, a big margin. It does not want to take a max strike. It'll take it'll take like a ton of damage from that. And then from there, it's downhill for Kyogre because it really likes having high HP for water spouts. And yes, it could Dynamax, but it still is not going to be able to one-shot Regigigas despite the fact that it is one of the most powerful water type attackers and in the rain because Regigigas has double HP and insane defenses. Next up, Cernius. Just outsped, does not want to take a max. <laughs> does not want to take a, um, a max strike. And you can even speed creep it you can uh, speed creep your Weezing to uh, be able to taunt the Xerneas at minus one speed. Since Xerneas does usually want a Geomancy, it does have issues setting up a Geomancy in the face of two very powerful Pokemon, especially when one of them is a supportive Poison type. Eveltal, granted one of the better matchups, it can max Airstream versus you, it can go for max Darkness, but still, it doesn't like taking the max uh, strikes, and Regigigas having ice coverage is not a good thing for it. You can just spam max strike and uh, eventually just hit it with like a max hailstorm if you really need to. So these Pokemon are some of the most common restricted Pokemon. Granted, you will face uh, the occasional Groudon and Venusaur, but that doesn't seem to be as common as, as it will be in like the next format when we can run two legendaries, I assume. Palkia is still kind of a cool Pokemon, and it is faster, it is the same speed stat as Regigigas, and it can hit it with a Max Mormon. so this is another one of the better matchups, but it doesn't resist uh, the Regigigas stab, so it is going to have to take a Max Strike regardless, which is not a good thing. It would have to win the speed tie and hit it with a Max Wormwind to decrease the damage as much as possible, so that is something that you need to keep in mind. As far as the Restricteds go, there aren't many that can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Regigigas, which is kind of insane. Yeah, we have Ho-Oh which does have a decent speed tier, but it's not faster than Regigigas. Um, the fact that they all have to eat these things. Necrozma is... Necrozma and Solgaleo, like the Steel-type ones, uh, along with Zacian, these are going to be your best answers to Regigigas. And guess what? That's like one out of how many restricted Pokemon? This guy is pretty easily able to set up Trick Room, especially with like a Follow Me Sash user next to it, and then it has a better time versus Regigigas than most Pokemon. Zacian itself is a good Regigigas counter because it has Behemoth Blade and it can eat a max strike, but it doesn't like to, uh, and it is naturally faster, so you have to keep that in mind. But it doesn't want to eat a max quake because it itself cannot be Dynamaxed. On top of that, 
Like this thing is the reason Regigigas is still able to be viable because you have such a powerful Pokemon in the back. So what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of weeks is I'm going to be labbing Regigigas in the next format because it's almost like having two restricted Pokemon at your disposal despite other people only having one. So yeah, I want to know what your guys' thoughts are about this. I feel like this is just something I needed to share with you before I started messing around with it so I can like, like I need some feedback on this. Am I insane? Is Regigigas still pretty good? Like I want to know. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what you think. Uh, leave a like if you learned anything or if you agree with me or whatever you want. Uh, and also be sure to check out a video that uh, Fu actually posted on his channel. We made a video of revolving around a physical Xerneas team. So if you guys want to check that out, that went up on his channel recently. So yeah, uh, with that, I'm going to call it. Have a nice night and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.